Hello everyone. I'm just gonna show you guys how to make this Glock right here have more FPV. This is a Glock 17 BB gun. All of the imprints is on the side of the gun. It looks very nice. Has the bottom piece and it does shoot. We'll cut back when there's nothing in there. I got CO2 inside of it right now. Push that down and well, it's empty. Okay, to continue on, first thing you do is take your clip out. Once your clip is out, you would take and you would go ahead and cock that back like that. Put your release on, take and hold these two pins and bam, it comes right off. So, once you take that off, you would then remove this spring right here, which is your recoil spring. And then you would then remove these right here, these two items. These two items do come apart. This is your barrel. This is your second barrel. Now, for you to get more FPV, you got to make sure that you have a full CO2 cartridge. So, if you don't have a CO2 cartridge, let me show you exactly what these two CO2s look like. These CO2s look just like this. And I need one more thing. Okay, so basically my cartridge right now is empty. So I can't show you guys unless I put a new cartridge inside the BB gun. So you just use something like this and you just push this down, release that. And then you take this tool right here to release your old CO2 cartridge, which is now released. And we're going to dump this out and we're just going to throw it over here for now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a brand new CO2 that has never been used, as you can see. And we're going to put it inside of here. And we're going to go ahead and tighten up on it a little bit. And you make sure that you tighten up just a little bit just to get that thread started. And then you tighten it with this part until you can feel the snug. Turn your Allen key around. And go ahead and twist it and make sure she's not leaking any air, which she's not leaking any air. So that is good. After you do that, you then go ahead and you push this little button in here. So you push this button, and once you push the button, you pull the trigger. You pull the trigger, and then you push this button in it on the other side. Then you just go ahead and cock that trigger back like that. And then you go on to putting your gun back together, which you would go ahead and um, take these two items right here and you will put them back together just like this, like so. And you would then go ahead and put this back in there and be careful not to lose your pieces because it can get really bad if you do and don't don't forget to put the bottom piece back on the mag because you want to make sure that that thing is good after you do that and um there's a little screw right here you see this little screw this screw right here if you twist this right here that also gives you a little bit more feet per second so you twist this just a little teeny bit to open up your air passage for the air to actually go inside of the uh, chamber. That is another thing that you can do. To put your gun back together, you would just go ahead and take and put all your pieces back in. Slide it back on. Check your function. Make sure your clip is in the place. Pull it back. And there you go. And that's how you do that. Now you guys can 
like my video and subscribe. Tell your friends, you know, to uh, uh, give me some comments. I'll actually tell you where I bought this and post some um, some links in the description. And um, it was really nice, you know, to make this video for you guys. I really don't want to uh, show my face on this video because, as you can see, I got me a weapon. And it's very nice. So you guys have a nice evening. And it was definitely, definitely great coming on here and making this video for you guys. And um, I'll see you guys again soon. Have a nice evening.